Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes, and well guys, I am running out of cash for this game, and that's not good. I've been doing uh, basically species-specific episodes up until this point, but I have to go in and make some money, and I figured that if I'm going to do that, I might as well go ahead and bring you guys along. And one of the things I wanted to do is kind of go through each lake. My favorite thing to fish with is the balance lure, and it doesn't require any kind of bait to attach to it, which is also nice since I'm low on money. And even though lures would be helpful, they're not absolutely necessary. So we're going to basically do it without lures, just with a balance lure and our own ingenuity here, guys. Now, let me go ahead and get this set up. We're just going to go in here to Clearwaters. Now, Clearwaters is an American lake, so there are uh, bluegill and crappie and things like that. And I could have started off here at Forest Lake, but Clearwaters, to be perfectly honest, I have not fished it that much. So I'm kind of interested in seeing what happens here. Now, we're going to stick with winter in about 15 minutes. And as I said before, at least I think I said before, we're going to be doing only the balanced. And for the balance, the total way the fish caught using only balanced jigs determines the winner. So this is going to be kind of tough because I've got a short amount of time and I've got to try to catch big fish and as many as I can. Now truth be known, I think most people like to see it, me go for the big fish. At least I do. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, you know, not those little bitty, little little bitty fellers. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. And all right, we've already got our big auger. That's good. All right, we're gonna head right out now. I don't know if I'm gonna use one of these cabins or not. Depends on where they're located. But I do want to go deep. And I think somebody might already be in here. Yeah, actually, I might try this one. All right. Because here in America, we're sissies. <laughs> we don't stand out in the... We're not going to stand out in the cold. <laughs> no, I'm just... No, that thing's making probably too much noise for you to even know what I'm saying. Now, this is the salmon... The salmon snake? Salmon snake? Anyway, what this one's really good for is for catching salmon, obviously. Now, I don't have any lures because, I, as I said before, I am completely out of all that. Now, let's go to our heavy classic here. Drop her in. And we're going to go deep, guys. We are going to try to catch something big. And at 138 feet, there's got to be something in there. That's gonna be something to talk about. Now, come on. Let's see what we can do here, guys. We need cash. We need cash. Whoops. I don't think there was anything. No. Getting a little too anxious. It's alright. It's alright. Alright, let's... I got this heavy rod, and I'm hoping this salmon snake lure attracts what I'm hoping to attract. If not, I might go with the flounder, the one that's for flounder, because they get pretty big too, guys. I don't quite understand how flounder are in fresh water, but... It's neither here nor there. I'm hoping I get a big pike. That's what I'm really hoping for. Because they go for this one too. Come on. Something was biting it. I don't think it's very big, but... Ugh. Man, I don't have time for this, people. I've got to get this 
Gotta get something big. Come on. I want to catch a monster. Let me catch the granddaddy of the lake. He's in here. I know he is. Come on. Okay, there's something. It's not huge. Yep, we got this flounder. Huh. Tell you what, guys, let's take it up a little bit. Cause that's what we're going to be getting. Just flounder. <clears throat> that normally wouldn't be a bad thing, but we want something bigger. Now, if I don't get anything by about nine minutes, I'm going to move. Come on, Pike. Pike or salmon, guys? Pike or salmon? I'll be honest. I tend to do better just out in the open than in these cabins. I don't know who thought up this location, but... I don't know. Okay, that was something. There's a bluegill. All right. Now well, we got about 35 more seconds to try this, and then we're going to move on. Go someplace that looks more like salmon territory. I know there's some big fish in here. There's got to be. I might also change my lure, because I swear, guys, honestly, I have... don't know if that was a bite or not. I think so. Nope. Alright, that's it, guys. We're going to move here. That's not doing very good, so let's go. Oh. Okay, I couldn't get out of there. Alright, I know where I want to go. Let's see. Yep, right over here. We're not going to depend on those silly cabins. Right here. nice and deep here and we are going to switch over to our green goblin because I'm telling you guys my green goblin it's never failed me I was giving another one a shot but wasn't doing what I had hoped to do I swear the pike love this green goblin Come on, don't fail me now. This green goblin's been major help to me more knock times than I can count. Come on, need a big one. There we go, nice. 
told you. Whoa, this one's big too. This is a big one. Look how long it's taken to get it up here. There you go. 10.90 pounds. Now that's a fish. Now that, my friends, is a fish. That's more like it. Let's see if we can't get another one. Just to make things a little better here. Okay, this one isn't as big. It's still taking a bit, little bit of time. That's, there's Pike. Okay, he was a, he's kind of little, <laughs> but I'll take him. <clears throat> I will certainly take him. Okay, we're gonna try it side to side this time. We've been doing a lot of up and down. This thing, that's the only problem with being out here though, it's freezing up pretty darn quick. Then it's minus 24 degrees centigrade. <laughs> that's cold. That's damn cold. There we go. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Should have gone with my gut, stayed out of the damn cabin. Whoa, nice bluegill. Look at that, guys. Check it out. If I caught a two-pound bluegill any time, I'd be thrilled out of my mind. Maybe there's some more of those big bluegill down there. <clears throat> yeah, two-pound bluegill? Oh, <laughs> Be ecstatic. Now that is a pan fish. Takes up the whole pan. Okay, this is freezing up already. God. We gotta scoop this out. We're going to do this for just another few seconds and then I'm going to raise it up a little bit. Go a little sh more shallow. I'm pretty sure there's some down there, but they're. Being prostickety, but I'm not going to push it past one minute left. Even though I'm fairly close, I don't want to blow it. I need this cash. Alright, guys, I think we're going to move on up a little bit. Let's put it up to about there. See what swims in this depth. Do this for about 50 seconds and we'll move it up to the, near the top. I get a lot of Xander in the center. And believe it or not, they can get fairly good size. Now, I don't know if that was me bumping it or actually caught something. No, I got it. This keeps freezing up so much. 
Well, if it's freezing up for me, it's freezing up for everybody, so... take it up to the near the surface here just want to get one more one more guys one more it's freezing up I think the next one I might do in the spring <laughs> just because it's so cold. All right, we're almost out of time and I'm not getting that extra fish. Ah oh, well, doggone it. Yep, it's time. We need to pull stakes and head on out. I know it wasn't too far, but I don't like to push my luck with this. Alright guys, looks like we're here about the same time as everybody else. They didn't have any more time than I had. I just hope they didn't start off better. I should not have gone in one of those daggone cabins. I just don't do as well in the cabins. I don't know what it is. It's like, I don't know who picks the spots, but they're not the ones I would prefer. Somebody drilling a hole? Yeah, somebody's drilling a hole. <laughs> well, you're going to lose, dude. Let's see. I got first. Nice. Thousand gold. 14.78, twice as much as the next person. I can live with that. See how low I was in cash? It's ridiculous. Well, guys, that was fun. I think the next time when we play again, we're going to go back to, instead of Clearwaters, I think we're going to go to Hardy Herring's Canal. Uh, again, I haven't fished that that much, but I do know for a fact since there's salmon and trout and bluegill these areas up here where the lakes come in or the rivers come in are going to be excellent and underneath the bridge for those species so anyway guys please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and i will be back with another episode of ice lakes so until then i will see you later bye bye